Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get rid of the Start Backup feature here that shows up in the address bar in File Explorer. So this is used by OneDrive and they want you to back up your files to OneDrive. Uh, so that's a Microsoft thing, they're always trying to get you to do that. So on this computer, OneDrive is disabled. And it's not even signed up with an account here, plus all the backups have been stopped. Yet this is still showing here. And it could be kind of annoying because if you just want to click in the address bar, you might click on this on accident and who knows what's going to happen after that. But it's only for certain folders, you know, desktop, not downloads, documents and pictures, not music or videos. You know, these are the default OneDrive folders. So to get rid of it, we're going to do a little registry hack and also change some permissions on the registry. So make sure you back up your registry or back up your computer or do a system restore before you do this because you don't want to risk messing anything up. But it should be okay. All right, so I have a cheat sheet here, which I'll put in the description. So first thing we're going to do is open Registry Editor and navigate to this location here. So you can just copy this, do Reg Edit, paste it in the address bar here, press Enter. So it'll take us right there. All right, so now what we need to do first: double click on this key here. Storage Provider Known Folder Sync Info Source Factory. And we're going to set the value to Null. Just like that. So under the value data part here. I've also heard that you could change the name here and do the same thing. So that might work as well. You know, change this to old or delete it altogether maybe. Okay, so next we're going to right click on the OneDrive key and choose Permissions. So the OneDrive key down here, this folder. Permissions. And then we're going to click the Advanced button. And then we're going to Disable Inheritance. And then we're going to pick this option at the top here, Convert Inherited Permissions into Explicit Permissions on this object. And we'll click OK. And then we're back at the Permissions group here. So now we just need to find any username that has Allow Access for full control. So we'll go through the list here. Not there, not there. Not there. System, yes, we'll uncheck it. Todd will uncheck it. Administrators, uncheck it. So that's everybody. So nobody has full control. Click on OK. All right, as you can see, it took effect already. Now it's gone. Now the reason you need to do these permission changes, if you just change the registry key and reboot, it's going to come back. So let's go ahead and restart the computer here and test it out. Okay, let's log in. All right, let's open File Explorer and see what we have. Go to Documents. Now you can see it's gone out of the address bar. All right, so you can see it's a few steps, but it's not super complicated to uh, get this done. And of course, with Microsoft, you know, in the future, they might change something to where this, you know, fix doesn't work anymore. So right now, this computer is running. So it's 23H2 with this build right here. So if you have this build, then this should work. But like I said, you know, when they change something in the future, it might not work. So you'll have to see what happens when you watch this video. And like I said, I'll put all the instructions in the description so you could uh, try it out for yourself and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.